Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In today's video, we are going to take a quick look at the Power BI services and we'll navigate each and every step. So stay tuned till the end of this video. The very first time you need to use the Power BI service, you have to log in on your browser and you need to go on powerbi.com. So I am just going on powerbi.com. So remember very first thing, if you don't have account with Power BI, you can start with free. You can use your business email address or your school email address and can sign up over there. And you will also get 60 days of free Microsoft Power BI Pro license. That means you can try and you can use all the Microsoft Power BI Pro license features and you will have all the functionalities that you need to use for Power BI services. And after that, you can decide whether you are going to proceed further or not. That's up to your decision. So I have already my account. So I'm just going to directly sign in over here. Once you will sign in, you will land on the home page of the Power BI service. On the home page, you can see a lot of stuff over there. Your frequently used reports, your some KPIs, your favorites, as well as you will see some of the apps. So basically, whatever you are using in your day-to-day -day life with the Power BI service, you will get a glimpse of those ones. So this is very quick accessible area if you want to go to any report or something. On my left hand side, you will see first of all this one. Over here, you will see the Microsoft Office 365 Center where the different apps are listed. So if you want to go to Outlook or you want to just uh, go for the uh, SharePoint or something, so you can go from there and uh, other apps as well. I'm not going to use them, so I'm just going to uh, close it. Just below that, you will see these three lines, horizontal three lines. These are going to use to minimize and maximize this pane. And in this pane, we have several other tabs. The very first tab I have already explained. The second one over here is the favorite tab. That means all the reports that you have set as your favorite. That means if I say that I'm going to use my one report on my daily basis and I need the quick access, I don't want to go inside any workspace, but I need a quick access so I can make it as my favorite and I can access it from here. Second one is the recent report. So whichever you are using recently, like in the past one or two days or maybe one week, so those are going to appear over here. Third one is the apps. That means all the apps shared within your organization or the apps that you have downloaded, those are going to appear in this tab. Also, you can get more apps by clicking on this one. So you can download those apps from the Power BI app store and you can see over there. This tab shared with me, so suppose your colleague or your uh, organization has shared some reports with you, then all those reports are going to appear over here. Learn tab is going to show you a few contents like uh, Microsoft uh, contents related to Power BI where you can go and you can learn something in your free time or suppose you, you want to go to some specific topic as well, so you can dig into this one. Now, the last two one, as you can see, there's uh, workspaces and my workspaces. So guys, there's a difference between my workspaces and workspaces. Workspaces are basically, or even my, uh, my workspaces, these are the containers where your old reports, your data sets, and your dashboards are going to lie, even including your data flows. My workspace is a place where you can publish your own personal content, while the workspaces are where uh, suppose in your organization admin has created or if you have right you can also create the workspaces from here and you can use them or if somebody has already created some work, uh, workspaces they will share with you and those are also going to appear over here now let's check the reports and dashboard how does they look and what are the different options available over there click on my workspace or if you have reports and dashboard in a specific workspace, you can go from there as well. So I'm just going from my workspace. First of all, you will notice that this page you have plus, so you can create, of course, their reports, 
designated dashboards so guys there are the different options over there which you can use according to uh, your requirement even you can upload the .pbx file directly over here secondly you will see there is a view button that means you can see the lineage as well as the list view so currently i am in the list view and once you will click on this one you will get the lineage view so lineage view is recently introduced by the microsoft power bi where you will see how your data set data, uh, reports as well as dashboards are interlinked or how they are being related to each other so i'm going back to my list view over here you will find there are the three different tabs over there all all means you will get everything at one place that means your dashboard your data sets and data flows or reports the content here you will find only your reports or your i'll say your dashboards over there and even your workbooks you can see there third one is the data sets and data flow tab let's click one of the report and see what are the different types of the options available over here once i clicked on any of the report so you will see this kind of uh, view where the very first again is this the button or the tab that you can use to maximize and minimize and once you maximize it you will see the different pages that are being used in this report so this report basically contain three pages and you can switch between them now let's minimize it again now the second option you will see here is the export button that means you can export your report as a powerpoint slides pdf or even you can print that the third one is subscribe in the subscribe one suppose we need to subscribe and uh, we are willing to get the reports daily or the monthly or the weekly at a particular schedule into directly into our email box and we don't need to come out there so we can subscribe it you just need to click on the uh, subscribe new option fill out the required details and then schedule it you start it and even you want to end date it then just save and close and you will get the subscription apart from that there is a comment section so uh, suppose we are in a very big organization where we need to uh, post some comments on our reports whenever we check the data over there and we see some uh, we see some abnormalities or we some we are going to see some kind of uh, weirdness in our report or suppose our boss wants to ask us something so they can directly comment over here that would be visible for all the guys who have access to this report and they can also revert back on the same comments and that would be almost in the real time and if you have installed the mobile application uh, that would be appear on your mobile phone screen as well let's close this then there is a button of the share share to the team that means uh, if you are using the team app you can directly uh, embed this report into the team and that would be the refresh or the same thing as you are going to view over here that's a very quick way to view the reports then there is a favorite button which i already explained um, that if i need to make it my favorite or unfavorite i can do it from here and then again click it once you will click on three dots you will see the uh, bunch of options over there the very first one is edit report as i explained you earlier we can create our reports over here once we have our data set or we can edit the existing report as well we can save a copy we can analyze in excel uh, i have already posted one video how to analyze in excel option we can embed this report and there are uh, the different options even we can publish in publish to web that would be public but generally considered insecure so you have to be make sure that you are willing to share your data with the public only then use this option pin to live page that means you can pin this whole report to your dashboard as a complete page view related metrics is if we want to see like what all other data sets are related to this report or even by chance any dashboards are there then we can also see that usage metrics would tell you like uh, how many people are viewing this report or when it was last time used uh, those kind of information you can download this pbx file as well if you have the proper uh, access or permissions 
you can generate the QR code as well. That means you can just uh, share the QR code with the different team members or the colleagues who wants to render this report. They can scan it and then that will help them to open this report. Refresh is going to refresh all the results on this report and then there are some settings if you want to make some change in the report name, subscription and there are a bunch of other options as well which you can check it out. So guys, this was the uh, and uh, this was a few of those uh, uh, explanations regarding the different types and options. On my right hand side, you will see the filter option. So that filter option is uh, up to the developers whether they are going to make them visible or not. But yes, with the help of this, we can filter out uh, filter it out our reports as well. On the top of this, you will see one is the reset to default button, which is the most important button in this pane. Sometimes it happens that we uh, filter it out like I just click on this one country and on the basis of that I also just uh, you know gonna click on some of the executives and now this report has been filtered out. Now I have two options. If I want to reset it to the original one or I can create with the help of this button which is known as bookmarks, I can create my personalized bookmarks and then Anybody else can even see my personalized bookmarks and they can view the reports in this state. So if I don't want to uh, bookmark it, I can just reset this one. And after this, it's going to again be the same. Here it goes. So guys, uh, whenever you are feeling something very weird is happening to the report, then you can uh, just reset it and it would help you definitely most of the time. Now there is a view button, view means you can do the full screen, you can fit to the page, fit to the width, actual size or the contrast. So it's up to you. On the top, you will see the report name, then you will see when it was last updated, who published this report or to whom you should contact it and what is the title of the report. Those are the few of the options that you can verify or you can use for further information. Let's move to the dashboards and have a quick look over there too. So guys, you can see the dashboard icon over there. I have one dashboard which I just created. And uh, this dashboard is, is, is from a sample report from the Power BI. And this dashboard is, uh, as I already mentioned to you, it's from the, uh, from the report itself. It has a single page and there are many KPIs, chart, visuals, so that's what a dashboard is. Over here, this is using Q&A. Q&A means question and answers. You can type your questions over here and on, on the basis of the data set, you will get the answers from there. Secondly, this Q&A is based on the AI engine, which is also based on the, on the natural language processing. Above options are the same as I already discussed with you, but there are uh, some of the different options are over here. You will see set as feature. It's only dedicated for the dashboard. Then there's a performance inspector. We can see the performance as well. How this dashboard is behaving, how much time it's taking to load, etc. You can create your mobile view as well. In the mobile phone, we have a Power BI application. And uh, if we want to render this report on mobile or we want to offer this kind of uh, uh, experience to the executives then we can design a separate into the mobile view and refresh is the same then dashboard themes so we can even change it in the dashboard theme so here like dark or to color blind people the one we think and we can even load it and uh, upload the theme that we have or we can download this theme and we can use, again upload it for some another dashboard so that's totally up to us Let's save this. So you can see that this report or this dashboard is basically looking beautiful over here. So guys, that was the uh, uh, that was the introduction to the Power BI services. I hope you liked today's video. For more videos, stay tuned to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you so much.